Okay, so I'm about to run a Feast or Famine on hard. And I already ran it um, six or seven times on normal. So I'm going to do hard now. And this quest has uh, a lot of killing in it, but it's also pretty straightforward. There's only one way to go, so you really can't get lost. And I always um, like to wait until I have a green alert before I kill anything, just as a general principle, unless I need to. Um, you'll probably see that I've always kind of been doing that, and it's just to save resources so I don't have to cast uh, a bunch of frost bolts of freezing spheres. I can just use one when I need to, when, I'm, when I have an alert. And um, when you get here, there's going to be a boss who's going to be in one of these four rooms, and it's random which one. So we got lucky, he w it was only in the second one, but sometimes you have to open all four doors. And you will drop a key, and you need that key to go through this door. So you can't skip that section, you have to do it. And there's two sections like that, um, you just did one and there's another one up ahead. I'm going to skip that optional just because I ran it six or seven times on normal, so it's really not worth the EXP. But uh, it's pretty simple. The door will open up and there will be some hobgoblins. And you just have to kill them for um, five or six hundred extra optional EXP. And then I'll just rebuff and keep going. And there's an optional there, but I just don't think it's worth the time um, to get it done. So I always skip it. And you need to be able to open that door because it's locked. So you'll need a rogue or... Um, I'm not sure if knock works. If it does work, I think you need to get a pretty high roll. And I 
I believe that chest does not have anything in it. I could be wrong, though. Never mind, it has stuff in it. There is some weird bugged chest in this quest that has nothing in it, and it just activates a trap. So that's why I was hesitant to open up that chest. And now we're in the hallway that's going to the last room with the boss. And uh, sometimes I use Dancing Sphere. Uh, it's pretty useful. It keeps them all held so that I can just firewall um, when I need to. And throw Freezing Spheres. And here's the boss. I'll just nuke. And that's about it. So 7,000 EXP in 6 minutes. Oh, that was on hard though. So it's about 1,000 a minute on hard. Um, on normal, uh, I believe it's a little bit better because it's quicker. Um, I was getting 4 minute runs done. Um, so I would definitely suggest farming it on normal at least 6 or 7 times before you do hard. But that's about it.